Entries were received from all over the country and 10 were shortlisted by an independent panel of judges. I want to congratulate you guys for doing a great job. Uh, very proud of you. you read your essays. Fantastic. I want to congratulate the parents and the guardians who have stayed with you, encouraged you all throughout these days. Um, it's a pleasure to have you here, parents and guardians. Thank you for coming. The judges have done an excellent job. There are three of them. Silva Inze Ifedibo, who is the author of The Funeral Did Not End. Adirinle Shonariwo, who is the director of Modern Day School of Arts. And Yona Oyegun Masadi, who is the managing editor of Kachifo Limited, publishers of Farafina Books. The sponsors of the Channel Book Club Prize for Literature are Lufthansa German Airlines, Latana Books, and Gothe Institute. They've backed us up, they've supported us, and we're very proud of them. I'm going to hand over to the judges right now, who are going to give us a general overview of what has taken place in the last almost two months. They will give us, they'll give us insights into the um, brilliance of this fantastic 10 kids who have made the final 10 list of the Channel Book Club Prize for Literature 2013. This is an excellent uh, um, development for writing and for creative writing for young people in Nigeria. And I think just really for the growth of literary and reading culture in Nigeria, which obviously is very important to me uh, you know, as a publisher. Um, but I think more importantly, just to see also, it's been so inspiring. We got, you know, we got quite a few entries from across the country. Um, 
and to, to get to the top 10, the finalists that are here today, um, you know, in some cases, actually a really, really tough choice. So it's been so inspiring to see that um, oftentimes we think that the younger generation sort of isn't really doing very much. But actually, you know, a lot of them are really, really bright. Um, that's the evidence that we've seen in the essays that were submitted and certainly, most certainly in the top 10 um, that are here today. Okay, so it was an intense four hours. I'm um, sure most of you are tired already, but we're, we're almost there. Um, getting to know all of you guys, um, I think I speak on behalf of the, all the judges when I say that we're very, very impressed by every single one of you. Not only did we get to know about your reading and your writing, we got to um, learn about your hobbies. Some of you like soccer, some of you want to be music composers and things like that. So we're, it was just really exciting and cool um, to get to know every single one of you. Um, so we, we you got to this stage based on your, the essay that you wrote for Things Fall Apart. But today we assessed the essays that you wrote right here. And then we also um, assessed you based on the one-on-one um, -on -one, um, on the one -on -one interview that we had with you. Um, I have to say that every single one of you came out very confident. Um, and it was really interesting to see that some of you were actually also part of your um, debate clubs in school. So we have, actually have to, um, I guess, commend um, the schools that you come from and your principals for really just encouraging you to, to speak up more and to be more confident in everything that you do. So we're um, very good, I'm very excited to see that you were organized, you were coherent with your essays and um, it really just came out really well. So we're very impressed, we're very inspired by every single one of you here. Well finally, I, I think it's important to uh, thank the parents who encourage them to encourage you guys to enter for the prize. Uh, I'm sure many parents have, uh, you know, <laughs> exerted a whole lot to have you here. You know, traveling with some of you, staying here is, uh, all through the day, and we're patiently waiting for us to get to this point of announcing the winner. So, we we'll congratulate the parents. We thank you. We want to say that uh, it's important for us, the judges, to restate the fact that it's hip to read. It's uh, not just music and movies that uh, young people should do. Or social media we should encourage kids uh, children to read and not just read they should read literature uh, a good literature a whole of african writers that are doing great writing which is acknowledged across the globe and we're encouraged to get them more books at home to read uh, and to learn as they've done with uh, things for the past so we thank you so much and we also thank channels television for having uh, such an initiative for leading the pack, uh, blazing the trail once more in this uh, sphere and uh, doing something to encourage literature among young people. So congratulate Channel TV for this wonderful opportunity. We'll go straight uh, into presenting certificates to all participants. Uh, you have done well with something to hold and show anywhere besides being on TV today and uh, in subsequent days. you have a certificate to show of your participation in this competition of, and of having reached uh, the top 10 uh, nominee list. Each of the 10 finalists is going to receive a certificate um, to appreciate the effort that they've put in and the fact that they've come this far. And they're also going to receive a gift bag from Kachifo Limited, publishers of Farafina Books. Now many of you said that you really, really like Chimamanda Adichie's work and some of you even wrote about Chimamanda Adichie in today's essays. And I just want to encourage you that if you want to be like her in the future, if you want to, if you're interested in writing and you want to get published, just keep reading, keep doing what you're doing, keep reading, keep having your own point of view and your own thoughts and ideas and make, make sure that your own ideas and your own thoughts come out on paper. So keep up the good work, well done, you've done so well so far.